A UAV operator at the Border Commandments Office of the Rapid Response of the 7th Detachment of the State Border Service of Ukraine, Vladimir Semkiv, who took part in the defense of Vovchansk, said that the tactics of the Russians in the Kharkiv region have changed. As he told Novinana in an interview, the enemy infantry moves in small groups that hide in the greenery. Although in the beginning, according to him, the Russians carried out assaults in large detachments and could walk around the area openly. It seemed that they were convinced of their own success, their own impunity, or they simply did not care about their own lives. They went to a fortified position at full height in broad daylight, moving along open roads. They suffered losses and later we saw that the tactics were changing. The Russians were camouflaging themselves more, moving in smaller groups, the soldier said. He recalled that the Russians' successes in their direction did not last long. In fact, they were struck in the same positions that they had managed to capture in the first days of the breakthrough. And they burned a hell of a lot of their equipment there, killed a sea of their people. My good friend told me about a battle. Their group shot a Russian and he started calling his own for help. A fellow soldier ran up to him, pulled the pin out of the grenade and saying, this fighter is going to God put the grenade under the wounded man's head, Semkiv said. In his opinion, they are either not friends with life or they are too friends with death. This is some kind of Russian satanic drive. Reporters and aid groups have little or no access to hospitals or rehabilitation centers in Russia. Information is scarce, often limited to community news reports and telegram channels. The Kremlin, military analysts and some medical personnel say wants to avoid a repeat of the anti-war movements that forced a halt to earlier wars in Chechnya and Afghanistan. The Russian state has learned by experience that if it wants to maintain domestic stability, it should suppress that kind of debate, said Nick Reynolds, a research fellow for land warfare at the Royal United Services Institute, a London-based military think tank. Military analysts say the high number of wounded also reflects the striking indifference that Russia exhibits towards its soldiers as it sacrifices huge numbers to make small gains across the 600-mile front in Ukraine. The Russian leadership on every level does not care much about soldiers, said Pavel Luzin, a Russia military expert with the Center for European Policy Analysis, a Washington-based research group.